this is no different than someone driving with road rage, getting angry at somebody for um, driving the speed limit. Then you get into an accident, and then you want to blame the person who was driving the speed limit when you were the one that was impatient. You just had to get to where you were going, even though you were already an hour late. You decided to get out of bed late. You decided you want to take your time and come up with an excuse before you were late. Take a listen and just um, for, for the viewers who like to spend just ridiculous amounts of money on surgeries and operations, this one might be of some interest to you. Maybe not, though. Maybe you don't care, but self-esteem issues some more than others whether or not you want to admit to it or not uh the way the industry is set up you know aesthetics is one of the main factors to someone's success and, and making it big making a name for themselves um being a brand so to speak if that's what you want to title it but um so this 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 video is uh, one of the reasons why I'm a firm believer in loving yourself. If you really have an issue with how you appear in the mirror, then hit the gym, get therapy. I'm going to play this. You let me know in the comment section what you think about this, and tell me if you still are willing to risk your life just to make some alterations to your nose and to your ass and all of that. Now, I tried to speed it up so I wouldn't get in too much trouble with this one. So bear with me. She enjoyed injecting her patients with cement. 18 months she suffered with not knowing the full of what he put in her body. She promised permanent cosmetic modifications, but she was selling tickets to their doom. She scammed hundreds of patients with her special treatments. I have never, ever, or would dare ever to inject or have injected any human with any type of unknown substance. However, her evil and insanity would end lives. Neil Ron Morris is a transgender woman who used to perform cosmetic surgeries in Florida, especially posterior augmentations. But one day, her disgusting secrets were exposed. She had a great reputation and even sported her own augmentations until her patients started falling ill. With him. You, a whole dude pretending to be a woman. It's amazing how far we've come in life where uh, we can be so hypocritical and accepting of one thing and then be critical and asinine about everything else platforms such as myself who speak against things of this nature get all of the negative feedback all of the censorship and all of the strikes and but we've gotten to a place to where we still can put aside the pettiness to allow individuals who were born genetically and biologically to be one gender we allow them 
to be in fields of work where they are responsible for the livelihoods of our loved ones that go under the knife. And like I said before, you can be whatever you choose to be. That's that's completely up to you whether or not I agree with it or, or whatever. But my stance is different from a lot of folks because the way I look at it is, <laughs> bro, you, you confused about who you are as a person. Why would I trust you to operate on me? That don't make no sense to me. Why? Why would I allow you to cut on me when you couldn't even decide if you were one gender or the next? So this is a doctor who I, I'm assuming went through all of the proper channels to become this is performing these BBL surgeries and fillers and augmentations to your face and all of that she has, he has the the doctorate, the certificates to support and back up that we have the intelligence and the knowledge to be able to go into this keep in mind moving forward in this video i want to focus on a lot of uh, uh the holes and the, the the garbage that is being spewed from this woman's mouth man's mouth immediate symptoms of infection some thought these were just side effects and one day tragedy struck you gave us your word that the product she was using was a my product. The symptoms began with intense pain in the area where the surgery had been performed. And then the skin grew deformed. Therefore, her patients were analyzed. And construction materials were found inside of them. From cement mixes to glue. Even the entire sealant. All extremely toxic substances for the human body that forced them to seek medical treatment. But one of them couldn't get it in time. I got the most inhumane 18 months she suffered it not knowing the full of what he put in her body. It was Shaparka Nubi who fought against the symptoms for months until she passed away. And now it was Morris's time to pay for her actions. The cement doctor had to appear in court where the families of the victims expressed their pain. She got three minutes. Everyone wanted she be made an example. And O'Neill had more than one crime under her belt. She had been reported in the past, not only because of her procedures, but because she didn't have a medical license. However, she would try to get away. She told the judge she was innocent. I have never, ever, or would dare ever to ingest or have injected any human with any type of unknown substance. That these were all false accusations. I have found guilty by the outside source based on lying. I stand corrected. But clearly, she didn't have a medical license. So, how the fuck was this person um, put in a position to do surgeries or any type of operations on anyone? How, how does that happen? How does that work? How flawed is this system, man? As much as we boast and brag about being just this gorgeous, magnificent, free country, man, we are so flawed and, and so wicked and so manipulative. But I'm looking at this and I'm thinking to myself, did privilege come into play because she's a transgender woman? So knowing that she used it as a means to get certain opportunities that otherwise wouldn't have been presented. Was that that happening here? Did she use that as a way to say, well, if you go against me and you try to make it seem like this is because of my gender, I'm gonna sue. How did, how did that happen? I don't understand that. A woman lost her life unknowingly being poisoned with what? Construction cement, glue. You're doing this in multiple people. This has happened multiple times. 
nothing happened or came from this. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I believe that. I believe that wholeheartedly. Uh-huh. However, the court had their verdict already. She was sentenced to 10 years in prison, plus five years probation, for the indirect crime of Tarkanubi and the accusations of dozens of women that admitted they had suffered terribly after being scammed by Morris. Why I'm concerned. 15 years I know. Dr. Cement never showed any remorse. She just wanted to earn money with her scam, not caring about the damage she was causing. There's no closure. Judges in jail won't bring her back. What was that doing? family will never forget the fame who took her life just because she wanted to be more beautiful. I don't get the most inhumane thing. Ladies, 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 ladies. Can I talk to you for a second, please? I understand you don't want to admit that you're competing for men. You're not competing for husbands. You're independent. You don't need men. You're only doing all of this for yourself. I heard it a million times. Okay. Damn. Where does your self-esteem derive from? If any of this was true, why do you spend hours in front of the mirror? Why are you going out of your way to take all of that time to get dressed just to go to the store? Why are you getting lip fillers? Why are you wearing lashes that actually represent something way more darker than you even know? Go Google it. Go Google what are eyelashes originally meant for. And tell me if you still have the same energy for that. But a lot of y'all are risking your life to look a certain way because society says you have to. And not because you want to be healthier. It has nothing to do with wanting to be healthier. This is all based around superficial bullshit. And there's so much wrong with this story, including the fact that how the hell does a guy man get only 10 years 10 years what five months probation or something like that how, how does that happen how does that work madam ma'am man uh caitlin general whoever whatever you are it dog Brother, how do you only get 10 years? How is that? What are we talking about here? And this is why so many of us don't like the police and we don't like the justice system as it is, man, because the people who should be getting the real sentences and punishments Y'all be going too easy on them, man. Y'all be letting these wild ass cats out here run around doing what they want, putting folks in jail innocent. Right now, there's people in there innocent. Y'all got your favorites and who you like and who you want to promote and who you want to use to get your agendas across and who you want to profit off y'all all got some shit going on with y'all man and this is why you're not respected my condolences to these people man who lost loved ones to do the surgery and operations ladies man stop wasting your bread on this goofy shit stop it like just just stop man it's not worth it 